show they call Man vs. Movie. And basically how it goes is this. I'm gonna come to you guys in a moment for a suggestion of a line of poetry or a lyric from a song. In a moment, a line of poetry or a lyric from a song. So start thinking about that one uh, poetry class you had in college where you're like, I'm gonna reuse this. This is the time, this is it. This is where it comes in handy, right? A line of poetry or a lyric from a song. And then based on that, I'm gonna improvise an entire feature film for you right here on stage. It'll have everything that a regular Hollywood blockbuster film would have camera angles and characters and plot and special effects, all that kind of stuff you see in a major Hollywood blockbuster improvised right here, right before your very eyes. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, we're all hoping for the same thing. That sounds good. Fantastic, fantastic. So, as I said, a line of poetry or a lyric. I want your magic song. touch. I want your magic touch. Here we go. Start the car and drive away. I threw my jacket out the window. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. I'll be, I'll be right back. Be cool. I'll be right back. Lights on. Lights off. Everything's dark. Now we're just the camera just. And we see like from a, a and we see like from a, a someone's point of view in the back of him. Jerry, Mike, Doug, Frank, Tom, little Jerry, nobody. And then we hear a voice. It's not Jerry. What the fuck? Ah, just super close with his name. shovel head just into the dirt. And as it widens out, widens out, we see that it's a big, burly dude. He's, he's shirtless, um, with jet black hair. As it widens out more, we see it's daytime. It's, it's daytime, but it's a, it's a beautifully kept 
um, a beautifully kept um, uh, cemetery. <laughs> He's digging a grave, an old fashioned way, like by hand. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wet, gleaming, glistening. <laughs> They're all dead. He's totally fucking alive. <laughs> Entry from here is a, is a man who's the total opposite in a suit and gr just his skin is gray. He says, oh. oh, Kevin, you're doing a nice job there. A very nice job indeed. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate, Kevin, that you still did the great by hand. No one appreciates craftsmanship anymore. Not like you, sir. My entire family is grave diggers, sir. To dig a grave any other way by machine or whatever would be ridiculous. <laughs> <coughs> My only calling in life is to make sure that the, day, the dead stay dead and the living can mourn in peace. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, yes, of course, yes, of course. Yes, well. <laughs> This funeral is at 2 o'clock, so you better get on with it. They'll be here before you know it. Oh, trust me, sir. I'll know it. I'll know when they're here and ready to bury them. And a close up of him, bury their dead once and for all. With all the secrets and baggage and blood, lust, and revenge, they'll bury their dead, sir. And their dead shall stay dead. For I, Kevin Seamus of Garnasy, have dug this grave. Yes, well, all right then. I, uh, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Stay hydrated. Be careful. Ah, we cut to a, um, it's uh, basically, uh, it's a big, um, uh, it's a sheriff station. It's a sheriff station, and uh, in, in the sheriff station, we see a, we see a lady sheriff. Um, <coughs> she's, uh, it says sheriff. She's got, a, she's like sensible ponytail, beautiful, but sensible ponytail, so you take her seriously, you know, Hollywood serious, you know. <laughs> Tom, guy, he's like a big burly dude. Yeah, yeah, Megan. <coughs> Sheriff, Sheriff Steve. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sheriff Megan, what's up? <laughs> Tom, uh, a lot of these, uh, it's been a, I just coming across my desk, a couple of um, sort of missing person things from the high school kids. Is that, uh, is that a thing? Are we, are we tracking this at all? Yeah, we did get a uh, cult. Or drugs, <laughs> or video games. We've narrowed it down to the or a sex thing. So it's one of those four things: cult, drugs, video games, or sex thing. I'm pretty confident about that. He's like big and like red hair and sort of just like you know just a, a goof. Yeah. So that's what. Tom, that's the best you've got. It's one of those four things. Tom, we cut to our close her, Tom. see her, uh, the girl from last night, she's sitting on the edge of her bed, sobbing. <laughs> sitting across from her is, her is her mom and dad. Her mom's seated. seated. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what to... Uh, what to May I? Can I handle this for a second? I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, a mom and a girl. Please. Okay. I'm a guy. She's a guy. Maybe it's... Can I? <laughs> okay. I'm going to let your father handle this. Just 
Just cry out, and I'll come running back in there. Okay? All right? Okay? <laughs> okay, Bob. Okay, I just don't know what to say. What the... Try to kiss you or, or or grab you or whatever? No, no, Dad, it's nothing like that. He threw his jacket out the window and he went to look for it. And then there was a scream and I drove away. And I've been calling him all day and all night and everything. And I haven't heard from him and he hasn't called me. You're saying he hasn't called you back and you're mad and sad because he hasn't called you back? <laughs> you're a beautiful girl. He can't see that. That's his problem, and not your problem. No, Dad, I think it's everybody's problem because he's gone. I think something got him. Before I drove away and stole his car, kind of, I heard a scream, Dad, a scream. A scream. Wow. You see, God doesn't really like this. You and me. Come on, let's go. If, it's, if you think it's serious, let's talk to the sheriff. That lady sheriff everyone seems to like so much. Okay, let's do it. Here we go, let's go. We cut two. That's all shack. It's sort of a shack, and it's, it's, it's sort of, you know, as, as you pull back and wide to establish the shack, it's a shack in the great, like on the very edge of the graveyard, just where you wouldn't want to live. Like on the very edge of the graveyard. Uh, and basically, it's sort of like, it's made from old, uh, you know, it used to be made like a mausoleum, but now it's just like a shack. And we push through the door, and inside we find we find Kevin uh, just uh, eating uh, lunch. As, as he's sniffing around, the shot gets closer and closer. <sighs> Super close above his eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> we cut to the interior of the sheriff's office. We see Sheriff Megan, and uh, she's across the table from uh, from the young girl. So, uh, Cynthia, is it? Yes, it's Cynthia. It's, I was dating, uh, um, I was on a date with Owen from the football team. And he's a smart one. I don't know if you know if he's a smart one. And uh, he was, he, uh, there was a scream, and he disappeared, and hold on, there's something about his, uh, his missing person and stuff that was going on. Do you know anything about that? Do you know any of these people? Here's, here's the pictures. Do you know any of these people? Oh, yeah, sure. These two were dating, and these two were on a date, and this one, these two were, yeah, all six, they were on dates at different times, and we never... People said they had mono or something. They haven't been to school in like a week. And are they missing? Are they missing? Honey, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't you or the lady sheriff panic, ladies. Take it easy. <laughs> Sir, I am the sheriff. I will shoot you if I have to. Or put you in a cell or whatever. Tom! Yeah, Sheriff Megan, what's up? Oh, you're a big drink of water, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Tom, can you take uh, Cynthia's dad and just get him... Out. Just take him out. Show him, show him the tasers. Show him the tasers. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on, you. No, I don't want to. Yeah, you are. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Cynthia. Type two. <laughs> Cynthia. Look, um, your friends are missing, and we don't know where they've gone or what's happened to them. And I need your help. What can I do? I'm just a high school girl. I'm just like the cutest, prettiest girl in my grade. And <laughs> I mean, I get pretty good grades, and my teachers really laid out before me, but I'm just that. I'm not a sheriff like you. Because I'm just like you. She <laughs> takes a picture off the wall. It's, 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 it's a close-up of the picture. It's her as, as a prom queen. <laughs> but she has like a, a pair of handcuffs like dangling from her belt. <laughs> See? You can be able to pick something. Not, I mean, Tom first, and then you. I promised him, so I kind of got to go. What do you want me to do? To later that night, it's dark, it's nighttime. Here's the it's the the squad, the squad car. We see the two of them. It's, it's vaguely reminiscent of the date from the night before. So, <laughs> so this is it. This is where you were. Yeah, 
He said he had never been up here before, but he, uh, <coughs> he drove right here. This kind of knew the way. <laughs> so, yeah. He also said he'd never been up here before, but anyway, come on, let's, uh, let's get out and look around. I th get out? I don't no, no, I don't want to get out. There's, who knows what's, no way. I got a gun. I got my sword on. I got a shotgun. Come on, we're okay. Let's get out. <laughs> Cut to the late, uh, few of them, two of them walking through the woods. Cynthia, stick with me. Hey, should I have a gun? No, no, no. No, someone who doesn't know how to use a gun is more in danger of their own gun than of anything else. Do you think, because that seems like, I don't know, that seems like specious math. Like I could have. Cynthia, please, it's not time for a math quiz. Let's just stick with it. Oh my god, that's it. That's the same sound we heard. It's like a snapping of a twig. And then he got out of the car. He threw his jacket. And then he got out to look for his jacket. I mean, this cut to her point of view is the jacket on the ground. We got back. This jacket here. She picks it up with a shotgun. <coughs> this jacket. Here, put it on. Stay warm. Thank you. <laughs> no. Should we, uh, should we run away? I mean, there's like something. No, we cut to it over, over the shoulder of the two of them. Her. Some from someone's point of view. Ah, getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And this is closer and closer and closer. <laughs> hey, they spin around face to face. It's a two shot. It's Kevin. Oh, Daisy. There's something going on in these woods. <laughs> well, I'll say, Kevin, I almost blew your fucking head off. <laughs> You're you gonna get like within one foot of us before you speak up? I didn't want to scare you. Well, good job, Kevin. You did the fucking opposite of that. You scared the shit out of us. Yes, Kevin, you just really scared the. Who are you? I'm Kevin. I work in the graveyard. We cut to later. They're in the, in the thing here. Kevin's in the back. So, uh, my entire family is. Grave diggers from generation upon generation back. I smell something on the wind, something magical and evil, ancient and putrid, working its way through this town. You ladies are best off to get out of here, get back to your everyday lives. I don't share, Kevin. You don't tell me what to do, I tell you what to do. I don't, um, everyone tells me what to do, I'm just a kid. <laughs> So maybe I could just go, and you two could just take it out, or you know, whatever's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, we start. We as they're talking, we cut away to another car, uh, a little bit distant, where we see uh, where we see a couple. But it's a, it's a girl, um, and she's uh, she's sort of um, dressed in a you know sort of in a band costume. And then there's a guy who's like a sort of a nerdy guy. struggling to keep up. <laughs> hey, wait up. Donna, wait up. I, you guys, you bad girls, it's hot. Really. I play the tuba. I have great cardio. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. What's that? What's that? What's that light up ahead? We cut to their point of view. We see trees. We see trees, but from the sort of the, the clearing within the trees, there's a light, a blue light, like an unnatural glowing. Blue light as they come closer and closer. We see more and more through it, and we see we see Owen from before. He's sitting there on a on a stump, and we see all the other kids. We recognize them sitting. 
sitting, sitting on all these stuff. Their eyes are glowing, are burning with unnatural blue fire. They are not themselves anymore. They're sitting here, and then uh, with their back to the, the, them, is like this big, it's like right, road, but like they become, like they were buried, but now they're not. Like skeletal hands, you shall be the beginning of my army. And with you, as this camera sort of spins around, you and I shall start with this town. And the blood will run red like a river. And we shall take over the world. We come back to the two, the girl and the guy. Oh my god, what the hell is this? I don't know, this defies all sort of logical. There's blue eyes, that's not right. That's not a thing that happens. And then, and then this, this guy turns, from, from, from their point of view, it's just his back. He turns around, he's looking right at them. We see the two of them, ah, they're paralyzed, oh god. And then, and then we cut to the, uh, back to the squad car. Ah, ah, the second one's him. Oh, what, what is that? That's what I heard just before. Stay in the car, don't move. I'm handcuffing you there just to make sure. Is this the safest thing? I mean, really, I could run. I could take the car and run. No, stay here. <laughs> I'll come with you. <coughs> He's running. He's keeping. He's got me with a shovel. Did you hear that? Yes. Now, yeah, here, quickly. We've got to. Take it easy, you're gonna hyperventilate. I know, from digging graves, the number one thing is control your breath. <laughs> control your breath. My family is grave diggers, generation upon generation. I, all right, God, let's go. <laughs> In a moment, we see ahead of them the glowing window, the the uh, you know the trees and the glowing, and we see now the, the cameras are pushed into the clear. All the kids from before, plus the nerdy guy and the band girl, they're all. And this fire is blue and glowing, and ravens are coming out of the smoke, you know, like fucking crazy. This, this guy's like, Kevin, come forward. I await you. We cut to Kevin and the, and the sheriff. He's, is that, is he a friend of yours? <laughs> Just the opposite. <laughs> we cut to the, the inside of the thing, they, they come through the trees. The sheriff. Again, why? <laughs> <laughs> you, whatever, whatever you're doing, stop doing. Release these kids and send them on their way. I cut to this guy. Never. They are mine now. <laughs> cut to this guy. <laughs> Die. All the way to the ground. We cut to the sheriff. And then this guy just out of his head, like straight up. Like this. And then like, now it's my turn. And lightning comes out like Senator Palpatine. Her. Ah, the gun. Out of her. And this gun. Ah, ah, ah. Her eyes are flaming. I got it. And then as he turns to run, as he turns to run, we see he turns right into the camera. Then we see his point of view. And we see Cynthia. She, she's broken the handcuff. Her eyes are flaming as well. You left me in the car. Now I belong to him. We got to him and Cynthia facing off. And then she goes over to join. It's like all these kids. It's like, oh, uh, what is that? Eight, nine kids now. Eight, well, eight plus the sheriff. That's not, and plus him. That's ten. This is one. Come to me. Release yourself to me. Clear the revenge burden of your family, generation upon generation, grave diggers. Cut to this guy. Never. And then Chuck's like really awesome. And then it's like these guys, kill him! All these kids get up. He doesn't. Uh, don't you know how to do it? Stop! Yeah, but he's got to do it. The, the boys are all big. 
legs are all trying to tackle him. He's like, <laughs> this guy, whoa, and this guy, ah, and the girls, he's trying to be gentle, come on, you don't have to, ah, 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 ah. finally it's him and the sheriff facing off. Sheriff, thank you, you don't have to do this. We were in on this together. But I do, finally, the respect I deserve. You don't need to get respect this way. He picks up the shovel, just the, the shovel head. Come on. She starts to run toward him in slow motion. He throws that shovel head. We see it come right before her. Right past her. She's laughing. And this guy's laughing. He wasn't aiming at her. And the reason this guy totally disappears. It's just him now. Oh, oh. Everyone's sort of waking up. They're fucking mad and <laughs> hurt and bleeding and bloody. I'm sorry. You guys, do you remember anything? I remember you punched me in the face with a shovel, dude. You broke like three of my teeth. But of that, there's eternal damnation. It's sort of that, right? Am I right? Everybody? Everybody? Pulls the shovel. We close up on the shovel. We close up match cut as it digs a new shovel. <laughs> this guy comes back in. Oh, uh, Kevin, uh, 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 there's no funeral schedule for today. Is that a uh, funeral I'm not aware of? Huh? I'm the administrator of this uh, cemetery. I think I would be aware that there's a funeral. No, sir. Not a new funeral, an old funeral, old business. He pulls out from his backpack, like a big, uh, he's like bare chest except for this backpack. He pulls out, like just on the rags that this guy was wearing. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be ready. This guy, he's dead. Look at him, he's gonna save us. But Kevin, I think he's gonna save us. And then the, the sheriff comes up. Tom over here, like everything, everyone we've seen in the movie, like in a big V, like a big final shot, right? And him, like sort of coded. 